Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 pre-orders to buy this weekend. Final order cutoff books. Pretty easy list, some good books. So stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. First up, thanks for watching. Uh, if you wanna buy from my store, you can. You can pre-order from me at economicsandcomics.com. Everything that I talk about tonight or today will be ready uh, now until Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. There you go. Lots of Marvel. Um, lots of Marvel. If you do order from me, you also get entered into a giveaway. I give you some ratios and stuff from that week. One person will win out of all the orders for the weekend, and I'll randomize it Monday night. Okay? So let's get to covers. Okay, let's start off with Zawa, cover five, number five, cover B. Thundercats, number two's out, cover B and cover E. There will be foils and other things available. I just wanted to shout those ones out. Vampirilla, six, six, seven, cover A and cover C, and there's foils with that too. Usagi Yojimbo Crow, number one, the one in 40 cover is pretty sick. Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number four, Foil. And Vengeance of Moon Knight number three, The Mastrazo. I think that's a one in 25. Um, the other covers we'll talk about later in the video, but it's an interesting week in re relation to covers. Here are some notable books I Heart Skull Crusher number one, Little Black Book number one, Napalm Lullaby number one. One Hand, number two. That was a good read. Star Wars High Republic Phase 3 Crash Landing One Shot, number one. It's a Guardians of the Galaxy homage cover, I believe. Transformers, number six. It's the last issue of that arc. Could be something good there. Ultimate Spider-Man 2 Second Print. And Ultimate X-Men, number one Second Print. Okay. Really easy video this week, guys, but stick around. Uh, let's do your top 10. At number 10, I have Resurrection of Magneto, number 3. It says here something that I picked out. And a king of shadows who seeks a new soul. I don't know who that is. Number 9 is X-Men Forever, number 1, new book. I'm highlighting the Lyrics Lee cover, though. It's sick. I love that cover. Number eight is Spider Boy, number five. I'm highlighting the best cover. It's a fun read, um, and it's Spider Boy. Number seven is Star Wars The High Republic, number five. Here's the regular cover, and here's the cola cover. Um, it's an, a new arc, so there could be something there key wise. Number six is Invisible Iron Man, number 16. Here's the Jang cover which is sick. And here's the Brooks cover, which I really like that one. There are a bunch of Brooks covers this week, so just check the store, but I highlighted this one. It says, Tony gets some new suits. There you go. All right, top five. Star Wars Visions Takashi Okazaki, number one. This book has been pushed for three months now, if not longer. It's finally coming out. I also want to highlight the Peach Momoko cover, which I think is really good. Usually I wouldn't say that, but I think that variant is sick. And that's a good story. Um, we've uh, Let's see. It's, it's an origin story of the Ronin. Number four, Star Wars Jingle Fett, number one. Here's a regular cover. And here's the Chew variant. Could be something fun in there. All right, let's get to the biggies. That's what she said. <laughs> Number three is Fantastic 418. I don't think this is going to be in a lot of people's list. People don't really order this book. But let me highlight this. The Secret of Franklin Richards and the all-new Shield. So I think there's going to come Origin and a first appearance in there. Could be something good and low print. Before I get to number two and number one, please, I would love if you would subscribe, comment, like. I really appreciate it. Number two, 
Deadpool number one. Here's the regular cover. Keep in mind this comes out April 3rd, a couple weeks after most of the other books. Here's the Vampire Homage. The Foil Lee is sick. The LaFeld cover. Liefeld, whatever you want to say. And the Stegman, I believe that's a 25 copy. Blah, 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 blah. Introducing a terrifying new villain. I think his name's Death Grip. Because it says Death Grip here. Okay? And number one for me this week is Web of Spider-Man number one. I'm just going to show you the Capullo regular cover because it's sick. But let me read to you what it says. 2024 is primed to be one of the biggest years in spider history. And you've only seen the tip of the iceberg, she said. In the pages of this one shot, we're going to lay out some of the biggest upcoming spider stories and characters in this Spider-Verse through the beginning of 2025. And you're not going to want to miss this. Possible big keys, very possibly. If something turns out to be hot later, my spec brain is telling me this book will be the first appearances of whatever comes. So... I'm picking up a lot. That Capullo cover is sick. He's coming to Comic-Con. I'm thinking about getting some of those signed because it's dope. That's really it, guys. It is a short week, but some decent books. Please, stop on by the store, economicsandcomics.com. You could win. And we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.